Yeah, I'm really, really happy to uh, to welcome you into this podcast uh, around the relationship and how to create a healthy, strong, juicy relationship. And um, Nils is a good friend of mine, and um, and uh, I'm always really inspired by his relationship and and what he has been able to do there and his growth and and the, yeah the way you are growing it's it's like your com- or our conversation uh, I, i'm always really inspired by when we talk and we talked here the other day and and i felt like okay this i want to share our conversation with a bigger audience or invite people who are might be interested so uh so yeah, welcome everyone, and especially welcome to you, Nils. Um, you want to just present yourself a little bit, and just uh, who are you, and yeah, what are you doing, and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, good. Uh, I am uh, Nils Freiland. Mm, what to say about myself? I, yeah, I'm, it looks like I'm always curious to to choose a path which is different than what what other people uh, choose, and I'm always curious how you know how can I, can I change things? What what are the possibilities? And uh, yeah, yeah, maybe what is nice to share is that uh, eight years ago I had a normal relationship, like a classical one, where uh, the my girlfriend she was masculine and i was feminine so when we were driving the car she was driving and i was sitting on the back seat <laughs> and um at some point in this relationship it, it it we broke up and i also understood like this is not working for me I, something is wrong here and uh, and 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 I, and I found out all my relationships i was actually the feminine you know, I was walking the feminine path and my uh, girlfriends, they were walking the masculine path. And I was uh, curious and I asked myself, what, what do I need to do to, yeah, to, to stay with one woman? Because I'm actually not interested, uh, interested in uh, exchanging my woman for the next. Uh, I don't believe this anymore. I would, I would be interested, what do I need to change inside of myself so I can stay with one woman? And then, uh, yeah, then some answers came up, you know, and uh, they were challenging as well. But also one of the answers was I need to uh, find my own masculine path and make my own, you know, uh, find, find my path. What do I want? What is my power? What is my truth? And uh, so I decided to put myself on number one. And uh, I, the, that was, I think, my biggest decision. And I will never put my woman on number one anymore from now on so that was seven years ago uh, and then uh, yeah, I was alone for half a year uh, figure out, figuring out some stuff and getting over this uh, breakup and then I found uh, Dorota my current uh, woman and she, uh, she became my wife and she had the same experience so she uh, when we met she also decided wait a minute uh, in the history, all this relationship went wrong. What what went wrong? Ah, what happened? I put the other person on number one as a priority. You know, I start doing things for the other person. And uh, so she also came to the same the conclusion, like, hey, wait a minute. I need to put myself as a priority. And uh, of course, yeah, I want to be in a relationship for sure. I, you know, I... I, I don't want to die alone. I want to be in a relationship. That's clear. But how can I be in a relationship and don't lose myself? So we had uh, we were on the same point, and we decided to uh, to uh, yeah to get together, and we fall in love, and uh, we we uh, continued on this path, and then it it, it looked like we were uh, really successful with with this. I would like to just go back a little bit, like. Um because what what is the, what do you find is the challenge when you are the feminine and and the w- women is or you're putting her on the pedestal or what what was your challenges by having yeah, that yeah so so in my in my daily movements 
um, my motivation was to think like what would be good for her that that was my my driver that was my motivation what what you know what what would she want me to do for example probably she uh, uh, when she comes home she expects me that i did the shopping or you know just my motivation she was she would be in my brain like what she would i would know what she wants from me Hmm. And I found out this is a trap. You know, this is a, this is a complete trap. Hmm. And uh, and I always uh, overstepped myself because now I know that the first question is, what do I want? For example, do I want to do shopping today? Yes or no? And from there, I go to the next step and go and look what my woman wants. But it starts with me, and I first need an answer. To, what do I want? Oh, today I feel uh, yeah. Actually, I feel like doing shopping. But it's a very important step to to connect with my truth first, mm. and mm. then I can uh, do everything what I want. But then at least I know what I want. Mm. Yeah, because also what I see when women are in their masculine a lot of the time as well, they are they are not really happy with that either. Even though they got their freedom, they got their power, but then it's very easy that they start to complain about the man and where is my man and and kind of i'm doing everything here and and uh, they even though you pleasing them you they will never be happy with it yeah. and uh, I, don't, I don't know you don't need to be personal with was that your experience in your uh, yes. your past relationship as well your yeah. your woman yeah, was not really happy with you yeah, exactly what you told. So when I start uh, doing things for her without asking myself what I want, then um, everything went wrong. Because uh, she, what what she now I know now I have the knowledge what she missed what uh, she missed me. I I mean she fell in love with me with my truth with my path with my heart. And uh, so she was missing. Where is this guy? He's only thinking what I want. So uh, for her, for a woman, this is very challenging. They, they, they just miss you. Where is this guy? <laughs> I don't see him. You know, where is his path? Mm. And I, uh, now, uh, as a, uh, now I understand this, this trap. It is, uh, it's opposite because now the, when I found my own path and I know what I'm doing and I, where I want to go, yeah, all the women start seeing me and they are attracted to me and they want to give their love to me. So now I see the opposite effect, which is very interesting, of course. Yeah. Why, why do you think it's like that? That they now trust yeah, I, you more and feel yeah, you Yeah, exactly. So uh, what happens is there's a mechanism in the woman. That now they feel safe with me because they know this man is not easy to manipulate. It means he cannot be manipulated by other women, for example, so easily. Because this guy, he knows what he wants. So he is on his path. And uh, what, what indeed what I see happening is that woman, and especially my own woman, my wife, feels safe with me. And when she feels safe, she starts to relax. And uh, she starts to feel free. And she starts to shine. So then, uh, because she feels safe. So she, does, she doesn't have to worry all the time that other women will take me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when, when now another woman comes to me and she says, I want to have fun with you, I say, wait a minute, I need to feel with my heart. Is that really my truth? <laughs> and, then, and then I come up with, no, no, sorry, it's not uh, working for me. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to have fun with you because I, I think about my future as well. And uh, yeah, I have other interesting uh, things, what, what I want to do. And, and this is my path. Mm -hmm. so, and, my, and my woman knows this. And so she feels safe and she can relax. And uh, yeah, now uh, now I know a relaxed woman is the best there is. It is. <laughs> then we then we can relax. Then is life is good. <laughs> and and everything is going smoothly when your woman is relaxed. You know your life is just the dynamics are fantastic. This uh, yeah, this I see. Yeah, and and what I want to because we have a little bit different path on uh, on the embodiment part i am kind of quite disciplined with my practices and yoga practices and or wildman workout and stuff like that but you have a little bit different uh, approach for your embodiment can you say a little bit more 
you said that you're putting yourself on the first place and really feeling in what you want to do but but how how did you go on that journey of embodiment to to really stay with yourself and be truthful to yourself yeah so seven years ago when i asked myself this question how can i uh, yeah how can i make sure that i never lost myself again because that was clear uh, that was um, like a, my masculine decision i never want to lost myself again in a woman and i asked myself how can i come to this point and i, I already did a lot of uh, for example the uh, uh, non-ejaculation exercises in, in the in the years before and then i decided okay um um the answer is pretty clear. Uh, what I need to do is, is stop ejaculating, because uh, if, if on my path, the ejaculating is 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 a way of losing myself in, in the woman and and of yeah giving myself away. Uh, so I decided to stop ejaculating at all, like complete. And mm. uh, yeah, that was a, that was actually when I made that decision, my life started changing. Uh, yeah yeah how, how was that process for you to and and why uh, how did you come to that conclusion with the uh, non-ejaculation yeah i recognize when i when i ejaculate um something uh happens between me and my my woman which i had on that moment like uh yeah my energy goes down and I also felt I could not meet her on, on, on her sexuality. I always felt like my sexuality, you know, I was moving up and then, then I had my ejaculation and then I go down. There was like a, like a hill I took, but the, the sexuality of, of, the, of the woman is, is, is somewhere there. So I, I felt I could, I cannot, you know, I cannot meet her. I'm, I'm actually, I'm always short on, on my sexuality. I'm like a baby. And my woman is a grown up on, on sexuality. And, and uh, so I had a desire to, to, be, to have, a, have it balanced because otherwise I would, I would know uh, in me, there was always a kind of a, yeah, I don't, is it guilt? Or at least I felt, uh, I felt in, immature in my, mm. in my sexuality. Mm. So that, and, and, and I know that the more uh, lovemaking I do with my woman, the more she wants. But I could not, I could not uh, give it to her because, yeah, I'm, I was ejaculating. So it was, I, I was just, oh, sorry. Uh, now I need to recover for uh, three days or four days, or you know, that depends on the situation. Maybe a couple of hours. But she was asking for more, and I could not, I could not supply. Yeah, it did not feel good. And uh, yeah, now when I look back, yeah, of course, it's uh, now I have a complete different situation because now there's balance on the sexuality. And uh, mm. I can, I can, yeah, I'm completely free with it, with, with this. So I can be there for her or I can be there for myself. I can do whatever I want and I will never have this feeling that I'm not good enough. It's, it's more opposite. I feel like I'm good enough. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just want to say to the people here, if you have any questions around this or challenges or anything, you can feel free to use the chat to, to, to ask nils any questions or if you want a deeper or clarification on something then uh, yeah because you are one of the few people i know and uh, that are so committed on it and uh, and like now with with dorota i know you're having a lot of sex and uh, and i believe you couldn't have had that if you were ejaculating every time or so it's but you have been really committed on that path for for many years and and how how in other ways has it changed your life yeah wow that is everything changed when i when i made this decision um yeah the whole dynamic between me and my wife start be a positive spiral so we 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 start using the sexual energy to grow and uh yeah because it, so it in our case it never ends because i never ejaculate so there's there's just we are just in this positive spiral where we use the sexual energy to throw out old traumas old belief systems old 
And uh, what, what I've seen in the last seven years is that we feel more free and more free and more free every time. And then I recognize, ah, this was my desire. I want to feel free in a relationship. And when I look around and I look at my, uh, on the other man, they feel free when they are alone, but when they go into a relationship, they feel less free. And I think, hey, wait a minute, you're doing something wrong there. It would be, you know, it would be so nice to feel more free when you are in a relationship. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, this I can really advise to for men to go to go into that space, to go to go research where, you know, what what is it? What is it? What does you? What does it is? What what make you feel unfree? And what what makes that you feel like, oh, I can go into a relationship for two weeks, but then I need to go back to my own space. Otherwise, uh, I lost myself. Yeah, I, I, I see uh, and, and recognize from my past was like, I'm losing energy. So either I have to have sex and then lose again energy or I have to uh, and become like a needy boy, kind of giving her my <laughs> my oh. juice or yeah. I need to go into my cave and have a break. So it's, but it's, yeah, it's. But as you said, that there is a middle path where you can use the sexual energy to, to make love. And as you said, you have been together seven years and I, I f sense and I have at least last time I visited you guys, you're having sex all the time eh? still after seven years. Yes. And how, how is that different? How is that yeah, because uh, we we support each other. So it's this positive spiral. I, for example, I'm on my path. I'm uh, just interested to throw out some belief system which I had. For example, about money. You know, like uh, a couple of days ago, I had this belief system like I need to work hard to earn money, and this belief I want to throw out. So we yeah we just put you know make creating this enormous sexual energy, and and I in the sexual energy I connect with my truth and I found out that. This old belief system is is have no value for me anymore. So uh, yeah, this is how it works. And, and what I f sense also is like as we shared a little bit about was when you're having sex with your partner all the time, it's it's a real deep bonding there, which which kind of yeah, and she becomes happy, we become happy. I'm filled up, she's filled up. We yeah. we kind of getting just higher and higher and and we are growing as a as a couple yeah and, and that's it's, yeah it makes exactly. sense yeah so she she give yeah on, and and i recognize every time when i make a step on my masculine path she wants to give me love mm. and opposite you know when she makes a step i give her my presence so we all the time support each other and we grow and we grow and uh yeah in my in my previous relationship Wow, the dynamic was uh, horrible, you know, the, because, yeah, I remember I was asking because that was, in that relationship, I was ejaculating, uh, what also means I did not own my sexuality. I was, I was needy. I wanted to have sex and she was in power. I was just, you know, I was just here making this, I'm grow, my sexuality is growing, 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 and then I ejaculate and I go down, but her sexuality is here and she had, but she has power over me because she decides when I can have my needy sex. And this gives a horrible dynamic. Horrible. I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, many times it's like this. But for me, it, it did not work. I, 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 uh, I can never go to that kind of relationship where, where I need to ask for, for sex. And when I'm really lucky, lucky I get it. No. Yeah. Yeah, because also my experience of when I'm not ejaculating, I'm full of, at, at, at least after a while, I'm, I'm full of sexual energy. I don't need it from my partner yeah. because I'm already full. My tank is full, but I, I'm happy to, to share it and, and play with it and, mm. and, and, uh, and move with it. But I, I'm not needy. But if I'm ejaculating, I'm kind of needy for that feminine energy or needy for sex to kind of, feel for a moment that I, my tank is a little bit full, more full yeah. but when you end it with an ejaculation i'm empty it even more yes so yeah yeah and it's it, and it feels like an addiction to me 
Yeah. Yeah, you are in need. I want you want I want to have something from this woman, but in the end she can never give it to me. And uh, so it's like an endless loop. Yeah. But I also want to, I, I remember we shared that there was a lot of stuff that needed to come out and to heal also in the, yeah. in the beginning of your relationship, like yeah. all dynamic and, uh, and yeah. They, yeah, yeah, they, for sure. They yeah. Change, you changed emotionally, physically, there was like a lot of changes happened in the, mm -hmm. in the beginning and, and then the trust and yeah. And that's my experience as well. It was like a lot of emotional pain, mental uh, mind fuck or whatever. It, it kind of disappears. It becomes after a while so much more easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the beginning, we had a lot of projections and they all came out because you're, yeah, this lovemaking is so uh, interesting. So you create this amount of love and always after the lovemaking, the shit comes up. Yeah, always. This is my experience. Even seven years long, always there's shit coming up after lovemaking. And uh, yeah, in the beginning, these are uh, horrible projections. And then later on, it's all this, this father and mother uh, stuff, you know, the old, the old pains. But yeah, as long as you're going, it gets, I, yeah, just more freedom, more freedom. And, and, and I recognize that all these patterns, they don't have so much food anymore. Um, I start to laugh about it. They are funny. They are not heavy anymore. And that's beautiful. You know, then yeah. that, that's yeah. the place where you want to be. That, okay, the, the programs, they are still running, but they are just not too serious. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so yeah. lighter, more light. Yeah, and I know you are also uh, coaching couples and women around to make that transition from the, the reverse polarity to yeah. to uh to kind of where the man maybe is a little bit more in lead or or at least the man is taking charge of his own body and 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 being responsible but how how is it what is I know we're talking around <laughs> masculine woman and the challenge with that and 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 um are they eager to change or or to kind of surrender or or how how is your experience of coaching women on on this and couples yeah well the the, the woman i see they uh, they are in my opinion very masculine and uh they want to change they would like to go to the feminine path and uh, for them it's amazing difficult they are so used, they are so programmed to be masculine and to make the decisions and to control. They control the relationship, they control their men, they, they control what they are doing, which book they are reading. <laughs> you know, they control everything. This is what I see. And mm. they would love to change. And, 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 and yeah, many times they, they say, no, I cannot change because there's no men which, are really, which is really standing. You know, there's the I don't see any man who's grown up. This is, but they, a lot of times they are not looking at themselves. What what, yeah. The, the correct question is of course, what can you do to to change? What can the woman do to change? Mm. And when she goes that path, uh, it's always very challenging because then, you know, she the, the, she have to face um, um, uh, her traumas. That's actually what it is. She needs to face her trauma. She was never seen by her father and, uh, and she's angry on men because she was hurt by men a million times in her life. And uh, so there's so much pain. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's, that is really something when you decide as a conscious man to relate with a woman, there will be, you know, there's a lot of pain coming up in the in the first years also when you go in this spiral and you're really going for it for this deep relationship there's so much pain in the woman every man should know mm. that uh, she was hurt so many times by, by men and for her it's very challenging to to feel all this and to uh, yeah she needs uh, she, she can use your support to, to go there mm. no? Yeah, it's. I think it, it, it's a courageous path for the women as well. As you said, if the, you don't have an experience of that man are really there 
and you're gonna let go of some of your shielding and to trust a man it, it's I, I can understand there is a it's a challenging path for the women and yeah it is and it's so difficult but, yeah because the, the woman i see at the same time they have children they need to uh, earn the money in the house their man is you know most of the time is doing nothing he's or ill or laying on the couch and you know th there's this polarity he is feminine, she is masculine, and she's like, how can I change? He's laying on the couch, what, what can I do? I'm mm -hmm. doing everything, I'm cleaning the house, I'm taking care of the children, I'm taking care of the money. Mm -hmm. well, how can I change? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's difficult. Yeah, and how can she change? <laughs> yeah, that is uh, the, the, the path, that's the feminine path, that is to, uh, she needs to learn to trust. And to let go yeah and uh so she have uh, she have all kinds of belief systems but what she can do is uh um, experiment with with letting go and lay uh, uh lay put herself on the couch and lay down and do nothing and see what happens and and one thing what she, what happens is probably your man will stand up exactly on that moment even yeah. if it is a physical man, which, which is in your relationship, or even the, the neighbor man, you know, the man around you, they will stand up and they yeah. will start taking care if you, if you experiment more with this direction. So for the woman, it, this, yeah, you need to uh, experiment with this and, and have your uh, result. See like, oh, yeah, yesterday I did it and all of a sudden some man helped me with this and this. Mm. Oh, wow. So I can try more. This I see with women who are ready to try, they, they, they have this experience. Like all of a sudden some guy called and he offered me 200 euros or whatever. And uh, mm. see, yeah, they just recognize, ah, oh, men are st started, uh, start to take care of me. And this is where you want to go, that you feel like the men around me are taking care when I do nothing, when I give them the possibility to stand up. And yeah. in order to do that, I need to trust and love and connect with my heart and walk and, and just relax, slow mm. down, go to the being. Yeah. But I think, uh, and I know from Dorota also being kind of an independent woman and kind of earning her money and, and, and to kind of suddenly to kind of be more dependent on you and, and letting you lead it's it's almost like shameful for i think for a lot of women as well to kind of so yeah. it takes a lot of cora uh, being courageous in that path to yeah but it's almost like the, the polarity gets better and he, i think you as a man kind of grow and and, and grow with the responsibility of it yeah and and uh, and 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 can take a more the lead and uh, but it's it's almost like this shame of of uh, I am independent in one way, but now suddenly I'm gonna depend on you, and that's yeah. It, it's 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 a um, yeah. This it's, it's a cora courageous path in in, yeah, this, in this to, today's society in one way. Yeah, exactly. The words are really damaging. I mean, dem dependent and independent. These words are completely not working because. You don't want to be dependent. You want to be independent. This is how we are being taught. The women are being taught that for the last 100 years. You need to be independent. But uh, yeah, these are the wrong words. Yeah, yeah. you should find uh, new words for that. Like, uh, you know, you, you're, you're, you're born in a woman body. And uh, so it would be interesting to discover what is your feminine path. And the feminine path is, is so different. And uh, it's about letting go of control and letting go of your children. Let, you know, letting go is, is the is the thing, and and start radiating and 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 yeah, and loving your surrounding, loving yourself. And by loving yourself, you just overflow and you radiate to your surrounding. Yeah, and this and is that, the this is beauty, and that's what we we love with the women. It's kind yeah. of that that radiance and that overflowing. Exactly. 
Yeah, this I recognize in my life. When uh, when my woman is radiating her love because she loves herself so much that she just in every direction she she shines her love. It also comes to me because I live close to her. And what happens? I start to be successful. Everything what I do starts to be successful because I'm continuously in this radiation of my loving woman. So all my clients, my my business, everything is going like up, 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 up. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing how your business, you, you're working three three months a year or something like that, and you earn a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that all happened because, in my opinion, because of my woman. She just radiates this love on me. I start to be successful. And uh, so these whole words of, of dependent and independent, they can we can throw them in the garbage. It's not like this. It's more how, how can you live a, yeah, a, 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 a positive spiral in your relationship? <clears throat> yeah. And if you see you growing together and, and supporting each other, because, yeah, I know from you and it's you, you also sharing your or you seeing that you're getting this feminine energy and you, you gifting her back from your uh, yeah. success and, and uh, you're not kind of mean to hold back to your own funds, but you, yeah. you're sharing it. Yeah, and yeah, I made then. every I made every step there. So in the beginning, I was like, "Hey, uh, Dorota, uh, please, can you just earn your own uh, money? You know, I will supply for three months. But after that, can you please earn your own money? Because I don't want to do it. I'm a lazy guy. You know, come on." <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, yeah. So we 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 slowly made the steps together, and 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 later on, a couple of years later, I see myself in the situation. Uh, wow, I have enough money for myself for the rest of my life. Uh, Dorota, would you like to marry me? Because I have abundance and I feel like uh, I, can, I can invite you in my wealth, in my richdom. And uh, I will, when you say yes, you will never have to think about money again. And so, uh, you know, and then she said yes. And she, her body reacts, the, the woman body reacts for this kind. But she starts to feel even more safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when I see the body reacting of my woman, it's like, I made the correct choice here. This is the path. This is the way. This is the positive spiral. Uh, let's continue. Let's uh, explore. How, where is it going? What can we do more? Mm. But every time a woman feels more safe, uh, she starts to give you more from her love. And, and this love, we, this is what we are looking for mm. as a man. Yeah. And I also want to... Um talk a little bit where we, I feel like we're talking about this also that a man needs to embody and, and embody also his feminine side. And I feel like you have been really courageous because I feel like we as men, we are programmed to, we need to, to kind of achieve, we need to do things, we need to produce. And, and what I find that you are also good at is into resting into your feminine and not doing more than you need to do and you kind of are aware of that programming of actually giving your time to to rest as well even though you are <laughs> and how how has that process been for you to to rest into your being and rest into also the feminine part of you yeah and and um and owning that as a man because i find that can be be a challenging to to also go into the healthy feminine to to be i know for myself it's like easier to work to work to work and i the more and especially the masculine is like the more i do the m more dissatisfied i become of myself mm -hmm. as well so i need the recharge of that feminine uh, can you say anything about that process of trusting trusting that presence trusting and the beingness yeah yeah that's that's that was that's an import, important part of my path because when i started uh seven eight years ago i was a workaholic you know i worked 14 hours a day business 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 and business and all the time you know i'm really good in going from a to b having a goal and then go there as efficient as possible and uh, in my relationship with Dorota, um, I found out that this is a, a trap. It's, it's a trap for the masculine path. It's, it's escaping. 
from from living your real life and uh, so in the beginning when i uh slowed down and uh, decided that i was curious what is going to happen when i work less hours so i slowly go back to 12 hours to 10 hours to eight hours to six hours a day and i found out ah now i understand why i'm working all the time i want to escape my life i want to escape my 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 steps i want to escape uh, feeling things and uh, and and i want to escape uh, my growing process and uh, so i start to be very curious what what is this and uh, so i i start you know working 2 hours a day and so i had a lot of uh, spare time and I see myself sitting on the couch uh, and, and yeah, this program, you know, in my brain all the time, I need to do something. I need to do something. I need to do something. And I, I this looks like an addiction is like, uh, this is like an al alcoholic. Amazing. So I was, I was even more, I, I, I was even more curious. So what, what will happen? And then my body falls asleep, you know, ah, I'm doing nothing and I fall asleep. I fall asleep and then also made me curious like hey wait a minute this is really strange you know i have nothing to do i'm just being in the moment i'm sitting here on the couch and my body falls asleep what what is this so i uh yeah yeah now and now i see you know now i have more clarity about it it's very challenging to really be in the moment and to be really present and to be really there it's very scary because you're actually living your life fully you know it's like uh 100% living your life in the moment you agree with the moment you don't have to go anywhere no here it is my life this is it i'm ready you know it's like coming home almost i'm ho i'm home i don't need to go i don't need to do anything to be who i am hmm. but that's um, yeah many steps later in the on this path yeah it's it takes a lot of courage to yeah, and later on I discovered, um, ah, I start working again a lot. And I discovered, ah, probably I'm escaping from something. <laughs> 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 Many times, yes, what is it? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's something what I don't want to feel. Ah, something, you know, this trauma work, always, yeah. Mm. But maybe some people will say like, yeah, you can do it because you are financially independent uh what would you say to people who uh, yeah. say that yeah no in my case the the less i was working uh, the more money i received so i i what i believe and what i see also there's a lot of value in in being and doing nothing and uh so now i'm i'm kind of reprogramming myself to to say like no there's a lot of value in doing nothing and in, and in being, and I, I deserve to uh, earn a, uh, a lot of money by doing nothing, because there is the real value. Hmm. And uh, so, yeah, it's about uh, don't believe all these old programs which your parents, you know, told you. Find your own truth. Is that really true for you? You know, my parents told me you need to work hard to earn money. And I found out it's not my truth. I don't believe it. You know, I, 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 it's not, no. I'm done with this old belief, actually. It's, uh, it's time to put it in the garbage. Hmm. Yeah, so far it's worked <laughs> amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm also on that path of slowing down even more. And, and, and I feel like it's also changed your relationship to your son and uh because you have a son as well uh part time i think and uh bringing that beingness to him or what has been the process maybe uh, talk a little bit what has been your process with your son around this when you have changed yeah i i yeah yeah my relationship with my son is is very interesting so my relationship with my wife is extremely good and with my son, it was kind of challenging. So I start uh, copy pasting. Hey, what what is going well with my wife, and what is not going well? Can I can I use the same techniques which I discovered with my wife? Can I use this on my son? And uh, so I did, and I and I found out that he is 
um, um, mirroring. Yeah, so I, he have a lesson. There's a, an enormous lesson in him for me. And earlier on, I tried to change him. But now I much more understand that he is a teacher uh, for me. And on the moment that I understood this, and I also put it into words, like uh, I could be grateful for him for teaching me very important lessons, uh, very challenging lessons, of course, lessons which I want to escape from. And when I start explain, uh, telling him this, uh, everything shifted between him and me. And I recognized, wow, it is possible to have a positive spiral with my son as well. Because, because I start receiving his quality. I start receiving his lesson. Uh, I see that he is starting to receive my quality. So all of a sudden we are in this positive spiral where we are giving each other uh, qualities. And then it was like, wow, this is what I want. This is the kind of relationship which I want with my son. I didn't even know that it was possible. I never saw something like that, you know, like a father and son in a positive uh, relationship spiral. Is that possible? So I had this kind of preview, but it was so clear for me. This is what I want. So I, I'm, I'm going to do everything to, to, to go there. And... Uh, I want also uh, invest my time because I think it's one of the most beautiful things what can happen in your life to have a super relationship with your son. So I, uh, yeah, I forget about uh, this whole this idea of earning money is less important and uh, this is more important. Beautiful, beautiful. And how how is it going with your son around that, or how how has he changed because of your relationship? Yeah, I see it looks like we found a way where he is more a child. I'm more a, a father because things are just working between us. And because he feels uh, safe also, he starts growing. So I see him growing. He, he's more ready to experiment and try new things and learn new things. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty fresh with, with this. So it's, I don't have a year's experience. This is more like uh, I have months experience. I'm just uh, finding out my, myself on the moment how, how I want to do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, till now I see very positive effects on, on him. I feel like he's growing. Yeah, instead of, I don't know, this, this, this other atmosphere where he just all the time tries to cross his boundaries and you know, actually asking for, for this masculine power in me. Can you please put boundaries to, to my actions? This, this is, uh, and then, you know, this is a little bit old. And in, mm. the, in the new, uh, we, uh, yeah, in the new, actually he's, uh, yeah, I have a good uh, relationship with money and I see my son uh, copying that. So he's now, uh, growing in his relationship with money and that's funny to see because he's nine years old and he has an amazing relationship with money hmm. yeah it's i think it's when we are kids we are just copying our system from our from our parents yeah when it's working when it's working we copy yeah. so easily yeah, yeah. And we copy also the shitty part, but uh, <laughs> but uh, but it's uh, yeah, it's good to see. It's good to see. Mm. And also, I think when you are resting more in your being, you're in a resourceful place to meet him. Ah, uh, yes. You are not like drained and irritated by his kind of childish yeah. things. It's like or his beingness or his yeah playfulness. Yeah, exactly. When I'm when I always have a goal in my brain, like I want to go to B, then my son is kind of a distur disturption because he wants to take my uh, attention, and, but I want to go from A to B. And he feels this, so he, he wants more attention because my brain is already with, you know, with going to B. So you have this endless fight going on. But with me, I want to go there, and he wants my attention. Mm. And if you can give him that intention, then he kind of relax and, and become yeah. more harmonious, I think. Yes. When I just agree with, I'm in I, A, I'm just here, I'm just now, and I'm there for you 100%. Mm. 
yeah, like for a woman, a woman for a woman, it's fantastic when you can do that. You know, just being there, really mm. in the moment for her, and for your child is that's that's mm. a beautiful masculine gift. Mm. Every every woman on this planet is is dreaming for this. Beautiful. Uh, I just want to go last question uh, and the last topic in one way. It's uh, our, because I know the passion around money and 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 how you have kind of nailed that money uh, or that relationship to to money and and what what can you how have you kind of what kind of principles have you gone with money and and working with money to be where you are financially independent working two three hours uh, two, two three months a year or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah i i um i found out that that all my the quality of my thoughts about money i inherited from my parents and uh yeah, my parents did not have such a beautiful relationship with money. So there was a lot of uh, belief systems which, which were not so beautiful, which I found out they are not, they are actually not working for me. And uh, so then I also asked myself this question, what, what is working for me? What, what do I want? What, what do I believe? What, what is my truth with money? And, uh, and by doing that, I started also experimenting, like uh, what, what happens when I work only 10 minutes a day? Um, what happens when I buy a bottle of wine and I don't feel that I'm giving away money, but I feel like I'm giving the, this, this guy the possibility to, to multiply the money. So I, I give the money with, with love, you know, with a positive vibe instead of shit, I lost 10 euros on a bottle of wine. I did a lot of experimenting with money to, to, ah, we had a, a love making rituals with, with money, with my wife in the full moon <laughs> to feel uh, like, is there, is there any blockage in, in, in receiving money or spending money? Is there, is there, is there, are there blockages in between me and money and, and, and feel into that? And I discovered there's many, many blockages in my system. And I start working on them one by one. What, what is blocking me? And I throw them all away. And at the same time, uh, my bank account uh, was uh, growing like crazy. So, uh, yeah, I would, uh, it's, I'm happy I did it. Mm. But you're feeling, can you say a little bit about the process? Do you, you feel where you you giving money from and you you stop when you're feeling oh it's like if i'm paying for this wine and it's 30 euros and it's like ah this is expensive it's like do do you feel into that and then you stop or how do you kind of work with this yeah i think uh, uh, in, in my in my old yeah in my old programming i would do that from the brain like okay but i want the bottle of wine it's a good wine um i make the this the the, the yeah, I make this decision. I want the wine and then I lost 30 euros. So I don't like it to lost 30 euros, but I want the wine. And that was very, very much from the brain. And in my new uh, idea, in my new truth, I would, I would connect with my heart and I would feel like, no, I'm not lost 30 euros. Not at all. You know, this guy is, is part of me. I give, I give him 30 euros, but he, he's also me. You know, and he will do something beautiful with this and then somebody else will do beautiful and, and we just create economy together hmm. so hmm. i lost nothing and i have a bottle of wine yeah so that, yeah and that, that was my truth from the heart so i i, I when i was uh, new to this I, I i put my this this 30 euros on my heart before i give it to somebody just to to emphasize this a little bit like a like a technique mm, you know, every mm. time to connect with my heart when i spend money mm, mm. so you're feeling where it comes from good good yeah awesome awesome yeah i i really uh, enjoy this conversation and uh anything else you want to add in or 
if anyone have a question or anything else also possible yeah maybe to... somebody have a question i don't know yeah so far it's a little bit quiet here in the chat <laughs> but uh yeah i um i'm really happy I'm, i think i went through my questions and my my list and uh, i really appreciate and you are an inspiration of of staying true to yourself and and kind of value where you're coming from and and being choosing presence over kind of everything and and then you receive everything you 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 master relation you master your sexual energy you master your partner and or you kind of have an easy way there and and with money with your son it's like wow where does this where where does this end <laughs> where, yeah. where where yeah. do you see yourself in in where where do you see potential to growing in the future yeah yeah that that's to the light to the source that's simple mm. yeah I have, I have one more thing to say and um, I think it's important and that is in the in the love making um, I would for for men and for myself I, I found out that it is so important to ask myself uh, do I really want to make love because my woman wants yes that's that's clear you know my you know when when you have a beautiful relationship you have an intimate relationship everything is working in my opinion, the woman wants to make love. And every time I need to ask myself, what do I want? And I, uh, and, the, and this is this step you, yeah, in my, in my, when I, when I don't ask myself this first, uh, I make a mistake. I overstep myself. I get, I go into love making because it's logical, because it's obvious that she wants. And, um, I'm hurting myself by this, and so I found uh, this. This I found out, and uh, so it's very important. Also, in the love making, when a woman asks for more speed or more wildness or more whatever, every time it's like, yes, uh, I, I see that you want, you know, fantastic. But I need to first connect. What do I want? And do I? Uh, and then, then. It's beautiful to make this decision like no for me it would be better to slow down because i'm uh, i'm already very excited and uh, i want to enjoy this love making more than than only a couple of minutes so I, I i feel like i want to slow down and it's so nice to 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 be connected with with your own truth in the love making and in the relating in the love making and this uh yeah yeah it, it, it's the way you can stop your ejaculation if, if you're not having that groundedness in your body then you will come you, you will be kind of sucked out and boom you you're losing yourself to, in order to please your woman and then yes. i having the ejaculation so it's it's yeah. kind of a test in one way many times can i stay with myself when my partner getting really aroused and really just want everything then yeah can i still stay and then i need to channel some of that feminine energy in myself yeah to to yeah. be able to to do it and and slow down as you say and maybe take a break or no i can't yeah, go exactly longer. yeah to be honest i need to go to the toilet exactly now yeah for example you, you can just tell your woman feel free but this is this is very much about the connection between your um sexual area and your heart so this this is uh, for for the man important to open up, and I think the non ejaculation helps a lot with this. Yeah, to open up the 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 channels between your heart and your sexuality. So that that, mm. that is so helpful. Uh, and when you can do this in the sexuality, you can do it in the relating. So th this is like a. Mm. So from the bottom of my heart, I really uh, want to thank you. And uh, yeah, I appreciate as you appreciate you as an inspiration and uh, get really all, always blessed when I'm with you and Dorota and, uh, and with your family and, uh, and now with you here sharing. So I'm uh, really happy for you, Nils, and thank you for guiding the way and thank you for sharing your wisdom yep. and your love and, and your your secrets and your your way of being it's it's a great inspiration 